Hello, my name is Nurse T and it's lovely to meet you, although you look like you're not having the best today. It looks very sore. Well, Dr. Treasury will be along shortly so we can have a good look at you and try to get you out of here as soon as possible in tip-top shape. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to go and get some bits and pieces ready, so if you make yourself super, super comfortable, or as comfortable as you can, um, we will be, both be with you very shortly. Alright? Lovely. We won't be a moment. Oh, nurse T, there you are. I see you have already become acquainted with our patient. I have indeed. Very good. How are you doing? Good. Well, I'm very sorry to keep you waiting. I was just finishing up my rounds there. I can see that you have a head injury that needs addressing, so we'll get looking at that for you straight away, and we'll have you out of here and back to full fitness in no time, all right? Very good. Nurse Treasury, if you wouldn't mind making some notes for me, please, just while I ask our patient here a few questions. Of course I can. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, your name and your surname. Could you spell that surname for me, please? Thank you. Lovely. And your date of birth. A little bit about how this injury happened. I see, okay. And when did it happen? Okay. Do you have any family history of dizziness or spells of blackouts or anything like that? Hmm. And has this ever happened to you before or is it the first time? I see, okay. Hmm. Do you know if you have low blood pressure? Have you been feeling quite low energy lately? How are you sleeping at the moment? Do you have any heart conditions that you're aware of? Okay, and what about any lung conditions? Do you have asthma or do you, have you ever had asthma? Mm-hmm. And are you on any medication at the moment? Okay, good. Are you a smoker? And do you drink? Okay, perfect. Well, what I'm going to do today is we will get your mood sorted out for you. And we're just going to do a couple of quick tests just to make sure that there's nothing else going on and it is just a superficial surface wound, okay? Good, all right. Nurse Treasury, if you wouldn't mind just cleaning up the wound for me and then we'll have a look at whether we need to stitch it or anything. Okay. And what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm just going to ask you to some facial expressions for me. I'm going to do a couple of reflex checks just to make sure that your reflexes are responding normally and then we'll move on to looking at your heart and your lungs, okay? Good, okay. Let's carry on then. So, while Nurse Treasury is cleaning you up there, if you need to take a break because things are hurting, just let us know. I don't want you to overstretch or anything like that. As much as you can do for me, that would be great. So, first of all, if you could do a nice big smile for me. Show me your lovely teeth. Beautiful. 
beautiful, that's very, very good, well done. Could you also just blink your eyes closed for me? Good, well done, okay. And now, can you raise your eyebrows? That's it, very good. And now I would just like you to stick out your tongue for me as far as you can. Very good. And then just raise your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Just touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue. That's it. Very good. And relax your face down for me. Neutral expression. There we are. Okay. I'm going to put my hand underneath your chin there. And I'd just like you to try to open your mouth. Very good. Nurse Treasury, if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to place my hand on the side of our patient's face for a moment. Of course. Thank you. Okay, here we go. If you could just lean into my hand there. Just resist against the weight of my hand. Very good. And if you could just do the same for me in the Maya. we go. Okay, so I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders for a moment and I would just like you to lift against the weight of my hands. Very good, well done. And now I'm going to take both your hands here and I would just like you to squeeze my hands as much as you can. Big deep breath in. 
exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Okay, and I'm just going to check around the back, all right? And exhale. Two per minute. If you could make a note of that, and lungs are clear as well. Thank you. What we're going to do next then is check your eyes themselves, your focus. So I'm going to use a little pen right here whilst Nurse Treasury is making those notes, and I'm just going to see how your eyes respond to the light. Okay. Okay, so if you could look directly at me for a moment, that's it, and I'm just going to bounce this light into your field of vision, so don't look at the light, concentrate on me. Very good, and if you could just follow the light with your eyes now for a moment or two. So focus right on that light there for me. Good, keep your head nice and still. Just follow that light along. Looking directly at me again, tell me when that light appears in your peripherals. Good. Good. Very good. Well done. Okay. Very good. And 
just blink for me a couple of times just to give your eyes a rest. That's it, well done. Okay, Nurse Treasury, if we could please borrow you again for a moment. Of course. Thank you. Alright, so I would like you to focus on Nurse Treasury for a moment. She's just going to stand a little further back. Focus on her nose or somewhere on her face. That's it. And then when my finger appears in front of you, I'd like you to shift your focus to my finger instead, okay? Okay, and again, focus back on Nurse D. Very good. And again, focus back on Nurse T. Very good. And now I would like you to focus on my nose. And Nurse T is going to wiggle her fingers and I'd like you to shift your focus onto her. And back to Dr. Treasury. And back to Dr. Treasury. Back to Dr. Treasury. Back to Dr. Treasury. Brilliant job. Well done. Okay. Nasty is going to come and stand next to me now. Alright, now look at this point between the two of us. Just my finger there. And I want you to keep your head still and keep your focus on my finger here. And just could you tell me how many fingers am I holding up? Keep your focus here. Good. And how many fingers am I holding up? Well done. And how many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers am I holding up? And how many this side? And this side? Very, very good. Well done. Okay. Your focus seems to be doing really well. Your eyes are responding normally to the light. So I'm pleased with that. It doesn't appear to be any signs of concussion or anything, so that's really good are going to move on to checking your hearing now and your ears, okay? Have you had any ringing in your ears since the accident happened? Do you normally suffer with tinnitus? Good, okay. And have you had an ear infection lately, just so we know? Let's have a look inside your ears then, Nurse Treasury, if you wouldn't mind having a look at the left ear. Of course. Thank you. Okay, here we go then. So it's looking very good on this left side here. Your ear is nice and clean, not too much of a build.
so both ears are looking good so we will move on to do a little bit of a hearing test just to make sure all right you might want to just close your eyes for this next bit nurse d would you like to explain to our patient how this is going to work of course so one of us will make a noise in your ear while the other one says a number or a word and we'd just like you to repeat them back to us do you have any questions before we start Very good. Well done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to competing phrases. So a different word in each ear. I want you to focus on your left ear first and tell me what you hear. Okay. Does that make sense? Good. Okay. Are you ready, Nasty? I am indeed. Very well. Okay, here we go. on, okay? Okay, it's quite difficult, but let's give it a go and see how you get on. Here we go then. did you hear in your left ear? Very good, it was. Okay. Crescent. What did you hear in your right ear this time? It was, well done. Okay, last one. signs of any damage at all, so it does 
does appear to be just a superficial wound. Now that your sutures are on, would you mind if I just had a little feel around your face? Thank you. I won't touch that area too much, I just want to feel other areas to make sure there's no tenderness or numbness, okay? Good. Nurse Treasury, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind preparing the Snell and Chart, please, and also a soft and sharp sensation test. Okay, I will do. Wonderful, thank you. Okay. normal to me. So what's going to happen now is Nurse T is just going to stand back here with this smell and chart and she's just going to point at some of the letters for you and ask you to read those out to us, okay? Good, okay. What is this letter at the top here? Very good. And this one. those letters for me. Good, okay. And these here, any blurriness at all? Can you read those? Okay, what's this one? Not doing great. And this one? And this one here. Very good. And this one, can you see this? This one? Okay, and this one. And any on this row at all. Okay, and any on this row here. 
thank you, Nasty. No right. So, very good vision, it seems. Nothing affected there. Just to make sure none of those looked blurry at all. No double vision. No? Great, okay. For the final part of the assessment today then, we are just going to do a sensation test on your face. That's just to make sure that you're feeling everything that you should be able to feel. There's no area of numbness or potential signs of nerve damage, okay? Good, okay. So I have this little object here, this brush. It's fluffy at one end and then it's a little bit pointy and quite solid at the other. And I have as though you reacted normally to all of those, there weren't any that you couldn't feel. You also identified precisely where you were being touched with those objects. And we even checked your ears for you to make sure there's no numbness in either ear. So everything looks perfect in that regard. So I think 
you've had quite a lucky break today with this accident. It's quite a superficial wound. No signs of con concussion or any other underlying issues. Are you happy with our assessment, Nurse Treasury? I am indeed. I think it will heal quite nicely, but if you need any painkillers, do let us know, I think. Have you been experiencing headaches at all since? Wonderful. Well, in that case, I hope you have a very, very speedy recovery. I think the injury will just take a few days to heal, and we'll book you back in with an appointment that so you can, so that you can come back in and see us shortly. We can just check and make sure it's all looking good there for you, and that you're not having any further symptoms. Okay. Thank you for being so patient with us. It's been an absolute pleasure looking after you today. It most certainly has, and we will look forward to seeing you again soon for your checkup.